it is 4.23 in the morning and it's gonna be a long travel day. But I have some important information about setting up your keys rig and a few crucial mindsets and opinions of mine that you should at least consider when it comes to getting the right tones and shaping your sound as a keyboardist. So I'm gonna be traveling for the next three days headed to South Dakota to play keys for an event. So let's hit the road. Flight 260. Welcome to South Dakota. It is very windy and extremely cold. Um, so yeah, we made it in one piece, but we're kind of freezing to death. Making a keys rig can be pretty easy, but if sound design isn't your strong suit, it can be really difficult and frustrating. And I don't want you to be frustrated. So to avoid that frustration and to pursue professionalism, you have to know your rig. Do all the research you need to make sure that you know how all the equipment that you're gonna be using works. Spend as much time as you need to collect and shape all the sounds that you know that you're gonna use for this gig. And you're not just a keyboardist, you are an artist and you have the ability to shape all these sounds and all these tones and create emotion through your playing. So put together a rig that brings out excitement and creativity within yourself. It can take a serious amount of time and research into getting the right sounds and making sure you have the right equipment to get the sound that you want, but do it and build a creative system that has all the sounds and all the effects that you need when you're playing keys. Instead of using your keyboard's built-in sounds, I'd recommend using a computer and a DAW to run all of your sounds out of. It's so much easier to be creative and to mix a bunch of different sounds together and try all all different types of effects. And a lot of times your keyboard by itself just doesn't have those capabilities. But by using a DAW as a host, you have a much higher and easier chance at getting a professional sound. Not only do you need to know your rig, but you need to know your gig. And I'm playing acoustic sets this week. So if I brought organs and synthesizers and arpeggiators, I probably wouldn't get asked back to play again. So for an acoustic gig, maybe a few different piano flavors and a few different types of soft pads and a drone tool to kind of add some ambience underneath it all. And then a versatile effects section to shape the sound depending on what the other instrumentalists are doing. A while back, I recorded the sounds that I'm gonna be using for this acoustic gig. So real quick, let's check those out. So don't overthink it and use the tools that you have available to you. There's a few cool companies that make all-inclusive sound packs for your keys rig. That Worship Sound has some really good stuff. Uh, there's another company, Sunday Keys. They have some really cool professional tools out there and then I'm a bit biased, but my favorite is my own company's new sounds tools. There's a tool called Ultimate Keys that has everything you need, keys, pads, drones, and it's in main stage right now and I'm working on a product for Ableton as well. That's what I used this trip was New Sounds Ultimate Keys played from Ableton. And this video is sponsored by New Sounds so if you want to pick up an all-inclusive keys rake with pianos and pads and synths and all that stuff go down in the description and go to newsounds.io and use the code Jason Ashelman on checkout to get 20% off. I am absolutely frozen. It is very windy and very cold. I'm out of breath, so I'm gonna go inside now. So you can take the time and you can program and build your own rig out, or you can skip that step and take the shortcut and buy a pack of pro sounds that you know are gonna sound good right out of the box. If you want a more in-depth video on how I actually program and go through and create a set for my keys sounds, let me know down in the comments below. But give this video a thumbs up if you like it, give it a thumbs down if you don't, subscribe if you wanna stick around, I'll see you in the next one. What are your thoughts on this trip? Um, there was a beginning 
and we're coming to the end, but the middle was really fun. <laughs>